one day, I want to go round and round with one of the 12 Worm Clan's pack worms. Howdy, y'all. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some Dragalia Lost. Still recovering from the second vaccine, so I sound a little bit, um, second vaccine shot. So I sound a little tired. It's because I am. But I did want to quickly make a video on armored uh, Yahiko over here. I'm going to wait a bit on Saiga because he's um, weird. So yeah, we're going to focus on my girl here. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about how you feel about her. Um, and you can subscribe to me for more stuff on anything. So yeah, her current role, it seems like for most people, it seems like if you don't have Leonidas, she's a very powerful alternative to Leonidas. Not as strong as Leonidas at this current time, but still extremely good, I think. Um, her main issue here is that it feels like even though she is not limited, her best stuff is. So let me go into Mercury Gauntlet and just show how she plays with Lore a little bit. What I mean by that is that her two best dragons are either Dread King, Rathalos, or, um, because he's all four strike. Um, or Gala Reborn Agni. Uh, those are her two best dragons. And if you wanted to go for a third alternative, it would have to be the New Year's Dragon that also gives four uh, strike damage up. Uh, but let me quickly go in here and show what it is. So yeah, she has this basic normal four strike. You almost never want to do it. You want to wait until she gets, there we go. And then from here, she gets a super powerful. She also gets stronger if she does not get knocked back. Now, unfortunately, I am about to go behind this man. This is not what I want. There we go. And go here. Listen for the second crack. She also has knockback immunity when she's charging. And her second skill also gives her a knockback immunity. So you really want... It's also a shared skill. Both of these abilities are also immune to Nihility, which is why a lot of people are saying, yo, she's great if you can use her for um, an alternative to him. She also inflicts Scorange, so she's very good. The second skill here, I'm not 100% sure which shared skill I should be using. I use this one for the time being. Um, but I think there's better options for her, obviously. So that's kind of how she plays right there. Just to give a quick, because uh, I'm better at showing than I am exp explaining at times. Um, so now let's get into, um, where is it? There we go. So my one specific problem that I have with her is that she is stun resistant and not sleep resistant. Um, so I do have a worm print on her currently that is like 75% sleep resistance just because Literally, the both advanced versions of the fight for um, for uh, fire require, <laughs> puts you to sleep, and if you get put to sleep, you're basically dead. There's no way around it. So let's go here. Let's fight him real quick. A lot of this also at the beginning is like waiting to get. Let me quickly get behind him. Otherwise, he's gonna accidentally kill everyone. Can I reach him from up there? No, I can't. It was worth a shot, though. Ow. I also need to get her knockback immunity immediately, because she does lose a little bit of power every time she's knocked back, which is bad, so you never want to get knocked back with her ever. Uh, there we go. Uh, of course. She also can, which I didn't do there, she can... Um, as you can see right there, she has knockback immunity when charging her first strike, fourth strike. So we're right here. Oops, canceled a little bit early. But you can see there, he was taking. Yeah. There it is, and he is gone. Goodbye, my friend. So yeah, like I was saying, both her skills are immune to nihility, so you can use her to. Um, you can use her in uh, the Rise of the Sinister Dominion fight against uh, Jebadoya, Jebahaba, Jebo, good old Jeb, which we're going to go to right now. We're going to skip Volk because I did a pre-video here where Volk was being a bastard. So I'm just not going to go to Volk. 
How about that? Rise of the Sinister Dominion. Jabba Dole. So you can see here, I haven't done Mastery yet because I still need to train up my fire before I'm actually 100% ready, but this was the team I used to beat it, and it worked out, and this was before I had Dread King. Before I realized Dread King, Raphlos was better for her. Um, so go here. I can't remember if this gives you Nihility. I'm going to assume no. But just to show her off in this specific fight. Actually, I think I can beat it using this. Let me go into it. I might lose because I'm st again. This that was my first clear ever, and it's been a while since I've done it again. So if I fail, forgive me. But I just want to show off at least that she is nihility proof. And this is the only fight that has nihility. Uh, okay. Yeah, that looks good. I switched out the weapon skill because the weapon skill gives you nothing in this fight. So, I mean, it might give you a heal. I think. Or am I thinking of wind? I might be thinking of wind. So let's go into it. Forgive me if I'm also not the greatest at this fight. <laughs> I, there was one fight where I was almost going to win and then I lost because he just non-stop kept summoning enemies on me. Because I wasn't killing them fast enough. So so yeah, there's Curse and Nihility. Going to take me a while to get uh, all beat up, beat up, beat up. Oh, you know what? I just realized I probably don't have the greatest of equips on her right now. So yeah, you always want to kind of go for the second one. Thank you for the cage, ma'am. I would like to be free. This was also the fight where I realized she had a problem with. So I'm going to hold my four strike. I'm not going to be falling down. Go hit her. Hit her up nonstop. I am going to hold this for when the mobs come in. Oops. There it is. There's the mob. I'm going to get frozen. So she's also pretty good for clearing them, clearing them out, because she does deal uh, not a lot of damage. No, she does deal a lot of damage. What the hell am I talking about? That's the whole thing about her. She deals a lot of uh, large AoE style attack damage. That's what I was trying to say before I was being an idiot. Alright, let's go here. Go here. Go here. You ain't my mama. Oh, damn it. She knocked me back. That's unfortunate. I must have lost my knockback immunity. But it's back here now. You have to also be kind of careful. With knockback immunity, specifically, you can, on accident, um, get yourself killed. Because <laughs> you underestimate how much damage you can take. So she's almost down here. I should really go dragon, but I'm really not for various reasons. I'm going to go dragon here. I should use this for when I'm potentially going to die. That was actually, you know what? That was great! Apparently Dread Kid and Graffalos is awesome for this fight. Because I forgot <laughs> that he does that. Go here real quick. Get some of that. I'll remember that. For now I can just use this now that I know that about him. So let's go into it. Okay, he's about to summon the big boy. Oops, that wasn't good. I'm gonna quickly go here because I realized I was about to die. Okay, good. Like I said. Oh no. If only I had waited just a little bit more. Oh, I fell asleep. No, not now. Okay, so let me go back to this. Go, I need to get rid of him before the timer goes up or else we die die. I know that much. Oh god, I'm going to die. Not yet! Oh no, he's gonna go. There we go. I'm gonna save again my... Aw, oh, damn it. I, sh <laughs> I put that out a little bit too. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. All right, I'm waiting for- there it is. Go! Oh, I didn't get them all. But it's okay. I will get them here. I did not get them here. 
I need to get out of the fire of Agni, it's bad. Fire bad. I hope I hit him! Alright. No, I'm going to die. Please, Lowen. I forgot Blossom Days also targets, I think, so... Come on, come on. Don't tell me we didn't make it in time. Okay, we did. Back to the fight. Oh my god, remember that part where I said if you don't kill him fast enough, this happens? So this is about to happen. So we need to go back to killing this man as quickly as possible. Oh, we're not going to be able to win because Leonidas is dead. Alright. We're done. Oh man, I tried. I'm going to pause and see if I can get it off screen. Alright, I'm back to basic where the fight is, except for now his tome is gone. So let's go. I'm gonna quickly go dragon and deal with all these. Okay, that should be hopefully enough. An application anthem. Oh, that's bad. Alright, let's go. We also do need to take care of these because, again, if they are allowed to live, they will kill us. But I think if he does not have the big tome, he can't summon the big guy. Which is what I should have been always focusing on. Again, still very early goings for me on this fight. I don't know what I was about to say. That guy got past all that and was able to make us win. Okay, now. Again, I'm always afraid of I'm gonna be falling asleep. There we go. There we go. Back into it. I also have to be careful because, again, at any point, when you have knockback immunity, it does not mean you have damage reduction. It just means you are immune to knockback. Oh, there he is. Damn. quickly get rid of this guy as fast as we can, and then all the others. Oh, he teleported on me. I was like, where the hell did you go, dude? There you are. Blossom days. Alright, he's about to get taken down. There it is. There we go. He's demolished. Perfect. Wait, what did I demolish from him? Was it the tome again? Again, I need to really pay attention. But it's, it's hard to actually remember a fight while you're fighting it. Quickly go dragon, and then go. Perfect. No, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dread King? Go for the big volley of deathy. I, you, <laughs> the Dread King can be a little bit uh, hard to control. I'm keeping my combo going, which is nice. Yeah, he's almost gone. And now he's terror. Look at him. Look at him targeting the wrong side. Like he's a. I can't even talk crap right now. I'm so focused on the kill. I'm so close. I'm gonna go Dread King. That should be enough. He's dead. Goodbye. So yeah, that is armored uh, Yahigo. Wait for her to give her victory sign. <laughs> I think she's very good. I think she's very solid. Um, obviously, I have Galileanitis, so that will help me always with this fight. Um, but you don't always need to be like super crazy meta-defining, I feel like. I think she's extremely good. You can use her for this kind of fight. Um, 
Obviously, Galleonidas is just too good for this fight to not use him. So, um, if you have him. But they don't share the same class, so it's whatever. So I can use both, <laughs> and I don't have to care about anything. Um, but yeah, I really like her. I like the way she plays. I like her style. I think the only thing that really could be better is I need to figure out some more shared skills for her to use. Though this one I still think is pretty good for that fight in particular. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I hope you enjoyed me. You guys did not see the 20 minutes of me sitting there trying to beat that fight. It's hard. It's, uh, those fights are not... <laughs> those fights are not... Even with my extremely stacked fire team, it's still pretty tough for me, especially trying to learn something brand new. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. Till the next adventure, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.